Let's start by creating our own intersecting lines. First, we need a ruler. This is just an improvised one. And this is what we call a 100 square grid paper. But if you don't have, then it's fine. This will be our guide to create our own intersecting lines. Okay, first, I will create a horizontal line out of the grid paper. I'll be using 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, six squares. Okay, I'll be using a permanent marker or any marker or pen that you have. So, six squares. I'll draw a, a line. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six. And I shall name my line as K L. Now, you have to remember that intersecting lines do not create a 90 degrees angle or a right angle. So, I decided to create a diagonal line intersecting KL. So, I'll probably start from here and make sure that your line is also straight. So, I'll be drawing and crossing over one two three four five okay five make it here in the middle one two three four five squares crossing over five squares okay, i will name this line as o p oh so there you have it our own intersecting lines let us also create our own perpendicular lines now you have to remember that perpendicular lines are lines that intersect but create a 90 degrees angle or a right angle now let me start by drawing a horizontal line okay doesn't matter how how many squares you want but me, I will have to uh, draw like one or use one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. And do not forget to name your line using capital letters C and A. Okay. Line C A. Now, let us draw a line crossing over the line C A creating perpendicular line it's very easy you can choose either from here okay or in the middle or near the point a but i'll be doing mine in the middle and one two three four five six squares down and i shall name this line as k e okay so we have line c a perpendicular to k e so it's perpendicular because of this right angle and another right angle here so this is how you do perpendicular lines okay this time we are going to create our own parallel lines you know that parallel lines are lines that go in the same direction and they will never meet even if you extend them in opposite directions so this time i want to create vertical lines or start off by drawing vertical line be using one two three four five seven squares for my line one two three four five six seven okay make it straight okay so i shall name this uh, line as line m n okay let us create a line parallel to m n i'll draw from here so it doesn't matter how long it is as long as the lines never meet or intersect Okay, as you can see, this one is longer than the other one, but it doesn't matter because we are creating parallel lines. So, I will name this one O, P. So, we have line M, N parallel to line 
O P. Now, what if you are going to create intersecting lines and there is a pre-drawn line and it is a diagonal line? So, try to remember that you can create any line, okay, crossing over line EF as long as it will not create a right, a right angle or a 90 degrees angle. So, we'll be needing again our ruler and let us create intersecting lines or intersecting line crossing over line EF okay you may use any letter for example S T so this one you don't see any right angle okay between each line so therefore these are intersecting lines we have another example here now we have line JK this time we are going to create a line okay perpendicular to JK now you must have to remember that we need to create a 90 degrees angle okay so it's if you do like this you won't be able to create your 90 degrees angle but if you follow okay the diagonal of the square in each grid then let's see if we will be able to create a 90 degrees angle so you can see the point of the grid squares just follow them and you will be able to create a straight line okay now how should we know if we had able we were able to create a 90 degrees angle okay do you see a square let's see I can see a big square okay now you know that a square has four equal sides so I will trace the square I can see out of the angles you can see the angles inside now all the sides are equal okay of a square so I'll count one two three one two three one two three one two three so that means we were able to create a perfect square out of the angles of the lines so therefore this line I had created is perpendicular okay so I will name now this one as P Q now what about the other one a while ago okay this one a while ago let us see if we were able to create a perfect square. Okay, this is the angle. Okay. We do like this. Like that. Like that. Now, as you can see, the diagonals or the lines inside the square are not in proper position or not in proportion. Let us compare with the other one. Okay, the other one creates perfect square with the diagonals crossing perfectly inside while the other one is not so therefore this one intersecting and this one perpendicular